Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to talk about the maintenance functions and reproduction of phylum Poifera or the sponges. So let's first see the maintenance functions. The food consists of bacteria, microscopic algae, protist and other suspended organic matters. The prey are slowly drawn into the sponge and consumed. The chonocytes filter small suspended food particles and that suspended food particle is trapped on the collar and moved along the microvilli to the base of the collar where it is incorporated into a food vacuole. So their food mainly consists of bacteria, microscopic algae, protist and other suspended organic matter. The prey is first drawn uh, into the sponge and then it is consumed. The chonocytes are responsible for the filtration of their suspended food particles with the help of their collar cells. The collar cell trap their suspended food particles and then their suspended food particle moves towards the food vacuole. Here in the diagram we can see these are trapped food particles by the collar cells and first the collar cell trap these food particles and then these moves towards the food vacuoles. Here the brown arrow, this brown arrow shows the direction of the movement of the food. The digestion begins in the food vacuoles by lysosomal enzymes and pH changes. Partially digested food is passed to the amoebae cells which distribute it to the other cells. The filtration is not the only way that spawn feed. The pinacocytes lining in pure and canal may phagocyte large food particles that is up to the 50 micrometer. So the digestion begins in the food vacuoles by the action of the lysosomal enzymes and the pH changes. The partially digested food is moved towards the amoebite cell and then that amoebite cells distribute that food to the other cells. There is an other method to take the food that is by the engulfing of the large size food particles by the pinacocytes. Our sponges cells are in close contact with the water thus nitrogenous wastes such as the ammonia and their removal and gas exchange occurs by the diffusion. The sponges do not have nerve cells to coordinate body functions. Most reactions result from individual cells responding into a stimulus. For example, the water circulation through some sponges is at minimum at sunrise and at maximum just before the sunset because the light inhibits the constriction of porocytes and other cells surrounding the ostia, keeping impure and canals open. So first of all we see that how the process of gas exchange and uh, nitrogenous waste removal take place that is take place by the process of diffusion. And the, if we talk about their nerve cells, they have no special nerve cells, but every cell is responsible to respond to specific stimulus. For example, if the water circulation through some sponges is at a minimum at sunrise and at maximum just before the sunset, this is because the light inhibits the constriction of porocytes and other cells surrounding ostia keeping in current canal open. So how these functions take place in the sponges. Now I'll talk about the reproductions. Most sponges are monoecious, means both sexes occur in the same individual. But they do not usually self-fertilize because individual sponges produce eggs and sperm at different times. Certain chonocytes lose their colors and Fragile undergo meiosis to form flagellated cells. The other zoonocytes and amoebal cells in some sponges probably undergo meiosis to form egg cells. The eggs are retained in the mesohyla of the parents. So, if you talk about the reproduction, most sponges are monoecious, mean both sexes, that is the male and the female sex, are present in the same individual, but they are not responsible to self fertilize, mean the sperm produced by the same individual can't fertilize the egg of the same individual because the sperm and the eggs are produced at different times. So the sperm produced by one individual can fertilize the eggs of the other individual. The certain cuchonocytes lose their collars and flagella and undergo meiosis to form 
flagellated sperms flagellated sperms are formed by the collar and the flagella and the other conocytes they may probably uh, undergo to the meiosis to form eggs the eggs are retained in the mesohyle of the parent sperm cell exit on one point through the osculum and enter another point within the incurrent canal the sperm are trapped by chonocytes and incorporated into a vacuole the chonocytes lose their collars and flagellum become amoebite and transport these sperms to the eggs so sperm cell how they exit the sponge they exit through the osculum and then these are trapped by the chonocytes and then they are transported to the egg cells in most sponges early development occurs in the mesohyle cleavage of a zygote results in the formation of flagellated larva stage the larva breaks free and water currents carry the larva out of the parent sponge after mo no more than 2 days of a free swimming existence the larva settles to a substrate and begins to develop into the adult body form so early development of sponges takes place in the mesohyle and when the cleavage takes place of the zygote it results in the formation of free swimming larva and then the larva after 2 to 3 days of free swimming attach itself to a substrate and then develop to an adult so here we can see there are usually two types of larva the parenchymal larva and amphiblastula larva most of the parenchymal larva is seen here is the parenchymal larva and this is the amphiblastula larva so first it free swimming the 2 to 3 days it free swim and then it attach itself to a substrate and then develop to a individual or adult asexual reproduction of fresh water and some marine sponges in involves the formation of resistant capsule called gamules containing masses of amoebite cells when the parent sponge dies in the winter it releases gamules which can survive both freezing and drying when favorable conditions return in the spring amoebite cells stream out of a tiny opening called the micropyle and organize into a sponge so this is process of asexual reproduction which is take through by the gametes some sponges possess remarkable power of regeneration the portion of sponge that are cut or broken from an individual that have the potential to regenerate a new individual so the sexual reproduction asexual reproduction and regeneration these are method of reproduction in case of sponges So thank you so much guys for watching this video if you want more such education and recreational videos please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video